Yeah. Yeah. Ella, my friend uh, say that she buy her medicine from overseas. It is much cheaper. The one with the high BP? Yeah. She say I just gave her the name of the medicine. Then uh, the next time when she order, she will tongbang for you. I'll text you the name. Mm. Fluoxidine. Uh, okay, I asked her to check see if they have. Uh, what about the other one? You don't have to worry about that one. Uh, we can water together. My doctor said I don't have to take that anymore after I'm done with this batch, so it's fine. Ah, okay, okay. Let me guess, no updates from the authorities in Brazil. What about Charles? Have you spoken to him recently? Well, that's good. Let me know if you hear anything. Please don't tell me you spent the night here. I'm telling you, that Myanmar deal is turning out to be a massive dud. Charles really pushed for that deal to go through. It's his pet project. I, I now it's dead in the water. And all that capital is just stuck in limbo. We need to put it to better use and fast. That bad? Yeah, we need the lawyers to rescind the contracts. With your approval, of course. I, I think we should sit down and you can give me a proper update first. Oh, wow, how the tables are turn, huh? I could ask you for approval for this kind of stuff. Are you, uh, are you free before lunch? Why don't you get in contact with my EA and he'll see if he can pencil you in. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Ella, is everything okay? Yeah, I'm just taking a quick break to reply some messages. I see. Anyway, is it okay if I take an earlier lunch today? I have to run an errand. I'm telling you, I've had it up to here with Sherman. James, I really don't. Now, he keeps telling me that you are in meetings all day, and they're likely to be rescheduled at any given time. And now he's saying that the earliest available slot to see you is next month. Well, he's not wrong, you know. Honestly, blocking off my schedule seems to be the only way I can get any work done these days. Okay, look, I got the figures for the new proposal right here. Just give me two minutes. Two minutes, I'm out of your hair. All right, let's have it. Yeah. Let's do this later. Okay. So. Ugh, Marie Khan. That's a familiar name, who's that? Our external counsel. She's in charge of the acquisition of Ventimentec. You better get that then. Nah, it can wait. Where were we? Um, the Myanmar project. Myanmar, yes, okay. I know you're still recovering, and I want to be understanding about your situation, but it seems like you're getting tired very easily. I'm sorry. Maybe you need to let me know what you can handle and what you can't. Uh, then at least we can adjust your work accordingly. I'm fine, really. You've been so accommodating as it is, and I'm really thankful. Okay. I just need to check in with my doctor. Oh, of course. Why didn't you say so earlier? Sorry. So I'll be meeting up with the GFPH legal team later to draw up the do's and don'ts for our channel. My hubby has a friend who's a freelance graphic designer. He's quite interested in helping us come up with the graphic and visuals for the videos. I'll find someone to help with editing and some. And Ashraf? Dr. Ashraf? Oi. Yes? You better not be thinking about rapping again. I'm not. Just give up, okay? Do you want to be taken seriously or not? Yes. Okay, I'll think of a topic for our first video. Plus, it's the first video, so it better be a good one. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Friend very fierce, huh? Trust me, this is nothing. <laughs> Are you two talking about me? No, ma'am. <clears throat> Basically, our me and our partner is bleeding cash. They're not going to be able to uphold their end of the bargain. Can we bank loan them? I mean, it'll be a loan, of course. Yeah, we could, but if we do that, that's money we're never getting back. Charles was insistent that we push through with this partnership, okay? He really saw the potential in it. Yeah, he's not currently apprised of the situation. <sighs> like, we need to cut our losses, Ananya. We don't double down on this. Yeah, but Charles vouched for them, which means he knows that they're good for it. You know what? Let me, let me find the email, Quit okay? stalling! You make the call! <sighs> you know what? The old Ananya would have agreed with me in a heartbeat. <laughs> yes, please, James. Enlighten me about myself. 
Please, go, go ahead. Okay. Okay. You know what? You've been second guessing yourself ever since you became CEO. And I honestly, I. Oh, I... Jimmy, thank God you're here. You must do something to stop Louis from this harebrained scheme of his. He's an adult, he can do whatever he wants. Louis Shelley, going from CEO of KSUH to working with a Tauwe seller, who I might add used to be the cleaner of his office. What an embarrassment. You will talk to him, won't you? You know, we are sort of in the middle of something here, Celia, okay? Oh. Hi, Ananya. I didn't realize you were sitting there. Yeah, well, it is my office. So easy to forget. There's so much of my Louis still here. It's like he never left. Anyway, it's better this way. You know, just a matter of time before he'll be back. Why'd you let her talk to you like that? Yeah, well, I didn't see the point in arguing with her. In Celia's eyes, I have always been a secretary. Executive assistant. And always will be. Well, things have changed now, haven't they? Yeah, well, mind you, she took a page out of your book. Nobody was harder on me than you when you were CEO. Well, my father trusted you more than anybody else. How do you think that made me feel? And here I thought you were trying to usurp a comatose old man's position at a company. That or you were doing it because of all of your daddy issues. Ouch. I was wrong about you, though. You were a damn good CEO, James. You had foresight, leadership. You were decisive. <sighs> yes, Sherman. Marie Khan is at the reception and wants to know if she can have a few minutes of my time. Yeah, well, you can tell her. She can make it. Yeah, you send her right up, Sherman. Thank you. The Venti MedTech deal is important. That is the priority of the CEO. Are you okay? I'm fine. Are you sure? If you need anything, you can just tell me, okay? Have you taken your medicine? Do you want to see your doctor? I help you make an appointment. I will accompany you. Go and see your doctor. I said I'm fine. Okay. It's been far too long, babe. Oh. Yeah, indeed it has, babe. We'll continue later. Why is this Mr. Shelley? James. Why don't you join us, James? Great idea. <laughs> Please. Can you believe it's been 15 years since we stayed at the Pinnacle in Vegas? It was the sale of the Adelson Goodman industry before you joined. Ah. That time, unlike now, I was on the opposite side of the negotiating table. Oh, we had so much fun, right? This party girl. Okay. Uh uh, sorry. <laughs> what happens in Vegas, right? Well, you gotta tell me that story sometime. I just remembered. You used to be James's EA. And now that you're CEO, he reports to you. What's that like? Is it awkward at all? Marie, or... excuse me, but I don't actually have time for a nature chat. Can we get on to business, please? Marie, could you, um, you just give us a minute here, please? Everything went okay with the doctor's appointment? Yep, all's good. Anyway, do you know if Auntie Adina is coming in today? No, uh, I don't think she planned to come in today. Uh, why? Uh, thanks for letting me go earlier. I'll clear this. Oh, thank you. What's with this hostility towards Marie? What's your play here? Excuse me? You, Shelley's all the same. You're always trying to use me for your own agendas. What? Come on, you know that is not true. You've been overriding me all day. First, you try to force me to pull out of the me and my deal. Yeah, I'm trying to do my job. And then you try to force this meeting with Marie on me, even after I specifically told you that I don't have time to deal with her. I am trying to help you. I didn't ask for your help. Oh, really? Because you look pretty out of it today, so I... I don't need your help. I don't need your advice, and as sure as hell, don't need your pity. Like Ananya. Just get out of my office.
Is Ananya okay? Yeah, she's uh, she's got a really important phone call. Should I wait or? Well, from the looks of it, she's gonna be tied up for a while. <sighs> what a shame. Mm -hmm. I better cancel that lunch reservation I made. Unless, of course, you can be persuaded to join me? Sure. Ella? Hey, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm good. You're not well? W was it something you ate? It's, it's just cramps. Do you want a hot drink? Actually, Auntie Adina gave me something last month that kind of worked. Do you happen to know if she's coming in today? You asked me that already. I'm sorry. Uh, but I can give her a call if you like. No, it's okay. Don't disturb her. Um, I'm sure it will pass. I'll use the washroom first. Okay. Mr. Lim's abdominal pain has been getting worse. The nurse said he doesn't even want to eat now. His diarrhea is still persisting as well. My guess is that it's not IBS. His symptoms are textbook though. Plus, he's got a history of IBS-related symptoms. It's got to be something more sinister though. I mean, he says the pain has been getting increasingly worse. Crohn's? You see, this scan is clear. So there's nothing sinister there. Colonoscopy was also clear. We should order an angiogram. Ischemia, of course. He's on statins, antihypertensives. All the usual cardiac risk factors are there. I'll bet you the pain is being caused by some kind of blockage in his heart. I hate to say it, but I think you're right. <laughs> I know I'm right. And this is exactly the kind of content that we need for our channel. People need to know when the symptoms are serious and when to seek actual medical attention. True, especially for those who like to tough it out or are afraid of hospitals. I'm impressed, Ashraf. It sounds like you actually care. Better thank your lucky stars you got me to carry the team. Otherwise, this whole social media thing would go nowhere fast. All right, chit chat later, bro. Time for me to go cut someone open. I'm on a roll today. Woo! Sometimes I ask a little bit only, she will snap at me. I want to help, also cannot. That's what happens when our children become adults. My Zarin is the same. <laughs> he has a lot of pride. I just wish uh, she could tell me what she's going through. At least I can help her. Actually, Ella seems to be doing well working at the restaurant. But she's depressed. I read online, they say that people who are depressed uh, need family support. She doesn't even want my support. Sometimes they want to do things their own way, solve their own problems, or could we, it just takes time for them to open up? Yeah. Don't worry. Okay. Archie, good that you're here. Ella has been looking for you. What happened? She yeah. says she's having cramps, but it looks quite bad. I better go there now. Okay. I must say, Ananya is a lot more uptight than I remember. Wow. Well, you know, she's got some big shoes to fill. <laughs> wow. Have you ever heard self praise is no praise? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I didn't mean it like that. I just meant, you know, she's the first non Shelly to ever be CEO. So she's under a lot of pressure. I don't envy you, to be honest. It must be equally stressful to be a Shelly. <laughs> Yeah, I will drink to that. Is that why your wife left? Because of the stress? Or was it because of the other guy? <laughs> I'm sorry, that was completely inappropriate of me to ask. No, no, no worries, don't worry about it, it's fine. I only brought it up because when I first heard the rumors, I thought to myself, she must be nuts to have an affair. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Look at you. <laughs> oh, that was a long lunch. Are you checking up on me now, boss? 
Actually, I came in here to apologize. I don't know what came over me. I shouldn't have yelled at you. I'm sorry. It's all good. You're right, you know? I'm uh, still trying to get the hang of this whole CEO thing, which is crazy because this is something I've wanted for so long. I guess you're the usurper then. It's just every time I have to make a call on something, I just feel so paralyzed. I don't know if it's decision fatigue or what. Maybe I'm not cut out for this. Oh, come on. You and I both know that is ridiculous. Crap, what time is it? You see? You see what I mean? <clears throat> Hello? Yes? I don't know what your brother's problem is. Just when I think things are finally getting better, he just starts jacking me again. But when he says these things, he... Like just now. He basically told me he's carrying the social media team. Don't guys say stuff like that to each other all the time? Only if they're douchebags. But Zarif, from what I've observed, this is how some guys show affection, affection. to each other. He clearly can't stand me. If he really felt that way, would he even bother getting involved in this social media project with you? With someone you dislike, what do you do? Do you actively avoid them or do you try to work with them even more? Now that I think about it, I'm not surprised actually. You grew up in a house full of women and being lauded over by your abang. Even your best friend, Kenneth, isn't really a guy's guy. Would you prefer if I were a guy's guy? Sometimes. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. Whatever it is, don't take what Ashraf says too hard, okay? That's just him trying to bond with you. The pain is so bad, you better go see the doctor. I already made an appointment for tomorrow. Is it okay if you come with me? Oh, yes. I can. I'm just so worried. What, what if something is wrong with my baby? No! Oh, you're pregnant? You know this. I, I told you about that like two weeks ago or something. You don't remember? We were just sitting there talking at the bench. Oh, oh yes, yes. Now I remember. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. I. I used up my brain power today helping Khalid with his homework. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. It's okay. What the? Chairman! Ch Can you give us a minute alone here, please? Thank you. Sherman's gone home for the day. Actually, so has everyone else, and that was my doing. I'm not going to be making any apologies for interrupting your work. Okay. So what's this all about then? You were right. For far too long, a Shelley has sat behind that desk. I can see why you feel like the Shelleys are still in charge, even though now this is your office. Okay. So your solution is to decorate? <laughs> oh, I'm not going to be the one decorating. You are. <laughs> It's time to start afresh, out with the old and with the new, whatever it is you want to call it. Just no more ridiculous paintings, no more Felix. Just whatever you need to feel like this is your office, your space, and your job. Thanks, James. And actually, I, um, look, I owe you an apology. I shouldn't have forced that meeting with Maria on you like that. I know. It's kind of like a throwback to when I was still your EA. You're in the right to be here. Stop telling yourself you don't deserve it. Nobody deserves this more than you do. Well, um... If there are to be changes... Come on. Why don't you take a seat? Okay. <clears throat> Hello? 
Hello? Jim Shelley, this is your CEO. And what can I do for you this evening, Madame CEO? I would like to formally welcome you to your new office. Oh. Oh. Thank you. It's, uh, us, it's more spacious indeed. Well, don't be too excited. The only reason we're putting you there is because we needed the meeting room back. And so I can make sure you're not goofing off. <laughs> well, the view from this office is much nicer than I am accustomed to. I just hope we can do something about the smell. There's no smell. Oh, there's a smell. It smells like Vegas party girl in here. <gasps> no, it doesn't. <laughs> just a little? No. A little? No. What? No. I can't hear you. I know you can hear me. Some ultrasound machines, but it's next to impossible. What do you need? 2D? Doppler? You decide. You know the kind of work we'll do at the free clinic. Sure. Um, well, the hospital is about to decommission a couple of ultrasound machines. I can find out what state they are in and request for them to be donated to the clinic if they're still usable. Thanks. Um, that's all for now. Don't want to keep you. You should go and rest. <laughs> sure, I will. After I check in on Ella. Good idea. She's doing fine, by the way. I guess you haven't seen her in a while? No. So I'm glad you're there for her.